So the other day I put up a, a video about the latest update for the DJI Mini 3 Pro and I was getting some people saying that they were having difficulty uh, doing that update or it wasn't showing the latest update and that was to do with the with the speeds. But anyway, sounds like they made a bit of a cock up and um, they put up another update. So even though we got the update of the 01.00.0500 uh, the firmware and if you notice my app version is only 1.98 now they've changed all this so as always just check your updates again and also make sure guys that your controller has got the internet connection because if you don't <laughs> it won't check it yeah so there's the update so as always, um, it's just fix some issues. Okay, so we do the update. It's not gonna take long. I think the other thing is, well, it's what it's done now, it's also given the option now of taking uh, a 48 megapixel photograph, which will be added below your like quick shots and all the other stuff that you get on your camera. I will show this later on. So yet again, I will be going out, doing a test flight to making sure everything's fine. I mean, as far as I could see on my drone, everything was fine. I had all the different speeds, uh, but this one, obviously some people were having problems. So it's installing the new software now. Now, another thing guys, to make it even more confusing, if you've got this type of controller for your uh, Mini 3 Pro, then you're going to also have to make sure that you update this controller, which is the RCM1. Uh, and also, you've got to make sure that when you use a DJI Fly app, that the Fly app's got to be 1.9.99. So, lots of things to remember, guys, when doing these updates. And it's always best to update. I mean, obviously, DJI was straight on it. Obviously, some people were having major problems not getting all the uh, right things that were going on uh, and they call it like small bugs <laughs> and, and this obviously stops obviously problems of the drone crashing and things like that um, but yeah and I must another confession on my last video of the update I actually said in the video uh, when after I put it up I said about check your batteries well guys you don't need to check your batteries because what it is it's the rc for software update and not anything to do with the drone itself so you don't have to check your batteries my my big mistake on that i must say i didn't cotton on to actually put up the video that's the thing trying to get these videos out so they're still quite fresh so I think some people are probably still looking at the, the old older version of the update and now we've got the newer version. So we've got the remote control firmware installed now. So the drone's ready to fly. I'll just check that. I'll just check also about this other new bit of stuff that's actually on with the drone. So I've got it on photo at the moment. So if I go into the settings there and I scroll down, it should be should be there it is the 48 megapixel so that's something new as well i'll try that as well when i'm out so just remember if you've got this type of uh, controller the rcm one you've got to go through the same procedure just put your phone or your tablet on there make sure you, your app's up to date the dji fly app's up to date as well anyway let's get out there and do a test flight So I've come outside to do the test flight. Just mention a couple of things. So there's two new features, especially if you haven't updated for over a week. If you updated the other day, one of those features was, was you, now you can control the speed. And I'm on about when you're turning the drone, you can go really slow, just like for uh, doing tripod mode, if you remember those old days. So you really, you've got a lot more control of the drone. Now, I, 
I, I'll be honest, I don't pretend to use those much. I just use the sticks, but you, you can. Like I said before, please check out the other guy's channel. He's telling you about the best settings for that. I'm not going to show you that, guys. Now, the other feature, which I will show you, is the 48 megapixel. Uh, and we'll go through that. Anyway, let's get that drone up in the air first. So we're doing auto takeoff. Bonnie just, my dog just went straight past it then. So at the moment, all looking fine. I've got 27 satellites. I've got it on normal mode. Okay. Now the view that you can see on the screen is Mazaron Mines and the town to the right of that is Mazaron itself. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into photos and as we go into photos you see it there 48 megapixel now if you want to do it in raw as well guys because sometimes somebody was telling me at the bottom there you can have it in sometimes it's in jpeg or it's in jpeg i always have it in jpeg raw because sometimes i do like using the photographs in raw but anyway just 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 check that because don't always when you go into the 48 megapixel one it didn't do that so come out of that let's go back into that 48 megapixel so we can take this shot now obviously on the screen you're not gonna really, really gonna notice it so there it goes it's just taking a load of shots there so that, that's the four. i will show that just now so we can come out of the 48 megapixel because i don't particularly want to have every shot on 48 megapixels so don't always remember that as well put it back to how it was i'll put it back onto single i'm going to put it back on to video now what i'm going to do now what i did before i'm going to do the master shots um only because <laughs> it does it all it does the circle does it, all the stuff doesn't it so we just put that into there. We'll bring the drone down a little bit. I'm 99 feet up at the moment. There's nothing here. There's no pylons or any obstacles. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more. Okay. And we just sort of position it in, sort of, sort of try and get that central as much as I can. Okay, that's about it. Okay. Okay, I've got to draw the box around it. It won't let me do it. So it's got the box around it now. It's already set up, estimated. Um, another thing as well, guys, it will put it down to 30 frames, especially if you've got it on 1080. Three, two, so that's going to go through the process now. We're going to go in through the drone -y. So what I'm looking for now, is it, is it going to be jittery? Is it not even going to cope with the the drone -y. looking good at the moment lovely day today can you believe end of march 30s <laughs> now we're doing the circle from afar so this is what i like about the master shots especially for a test flight you can just try out a couple of things i'm not going to do the tracking today i did that the other day i don't think you do get any problems with tracking so this is just, I just want to get this video up as soon as I can because I noticed my video is still being, my pre, my last video is still being looked at at the moment uh, and already there's been a, a new update only because there were some minor problems of it. Now that little black speck you can see is my little, my little doggy has been rolling around in the dirt. Haven't you? You little bugger. <laughs> right, we're doing the rocket. Okay, she knows I've got some sweets for her. <coughs> it's a bit hot today, isn't it, Bum? So we're doing the... Uh, camera straight and descend so we're dropping down
Okay, all finished. What I will do, I will do another one, which I do like doing. That's if I go into my quick shots, I would do the Globy, which is the um, asteroid. Okay. As always, we just put the box around it. The box is there. Are we ready? We're ready. I will also put that little video clip. Um, let's see how it's going first. I'm going to do, show you that video clip now. Now, if anything was going wrong, guys, you, you know you can always press the X, uh, which is on the right-hand side. But everything is looking fine at the moment. Well, the other feature, just in case you didn't do the update the other day, was to do the, the control of the speeds. So if you go into your control, and now you see it already, which is Gain Expo Tune-In. And you can change. Now, this is what it will be set at, guys. It will be set, obviously, at all the highest settings except the velocity. It's at 80%. So I haven't changed nothing on here. It's up to you if you want to mess about with the settings. Like I said, go and check out that guy's channel. He's he's called it the best settings. If you want to do that, fine. Um, I'm just I'm quite happy how it is for me. And you could obviously reset them at the bottom there. Right, one thing I will check. I didn't do it on the last one. I'll just go check the sports mode. Let's put it into sports sports mode so remember when you put it into sports mode the avoidance will be taken off so don't fly into a brick wall I'm just doing it there I'm just gonna put it back yeah yeah I'm liking that okay so as far as I'm concerned that's it take it Take it out, put it back into normal, back into normal mode. So, hope you found that uh, interesting. Like I said at the last video, there's going to be a lot more updates. I can see it coming now, especially with the new goggles for the Avar and things like that. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, get a thumbs up. If you didn't, get a thumbs down. And enjoy flying, guys. That's the main thing. I'll catch you on the next one. I've got a lot of videos coming. <laughs>